Welcome to Rocky Mountain RV in Butte, Montana. My name is Barry Waddell and today we're going to be taking a look at the 20th anniversary edition Aerolite, the Zero Gravity series. This is a 242 BHSL. This particular unit, as you can see, has the redesigned graphics on the exterior in that tan and gray. These units have a one-piece fiberglass front cone to them. These guys are just extremely, extremely flashy looking. As you can see, they have an LED light recessed in the front end. Lit up, they have a nice blue tint to them. Just giving these guys a, a one of a kind look. They also have that LED light underneath the awning. Giant pass-through storage. These will fit a standard size cooler on both sides. Uh, as you can see, aluminum framed. Vacuum bonded exterior, nice solid trailer, I apologize for the focusing. Triple step to get in, these are the anti-slip steps. Nice assist grab handle here. Dual axles on this unit. Black tank flush, what that black tank flush is as I walk and talk here, there's a little shower port pretty much inside uh, shower head, pardon me, inside your black tank, you plug a hose into that, turn it on with a pressure regulator. It's going to spray out any black tank, any, any excess debris left over in there. Your stabilizer jacks. The stabilizer jacks, as you can see, not only are they at four corners here, they are at a 45 degree angle to the trailer, um, if you see. They're not straight in line with, you know, from side to side. So it gives you stability from front to back and side to side, improving stability when these are set up. Um, keeping the trailer from wanting to go forward and back and side to side at the same time, um, giving you a, a better feel as far as the stance goes. Your pack and play door. Very nice feature. One, another great feature actually on these things is with a push of a button, this bunk bed is going to slide right up here and keep going to the top, giving you tons of storage for a generator, for anything you want to put right here. Kids bikes, adult bikes, you can put tie downs on this floor, you can put bike racks on this floor. Possibilities are endless um, as far as the storage bay goes, giving you just an unbeatable storage amount. Nice thick bed here, nice cozy teddy bear mattress. Coming around here, you'll see, of course, where you have your plug-in. Nice thing about these Furion plug-ins, when you plug your cord in here, this little green light will light up. So if you have a problem as far as your power goes, you can eliminate it. You know that you have power to this point. So if there's anything else wrong from here out, you know that process of elimination you're good to this point you feed it through spray port here plug it in here now this is not hot and cold this is going to be tempered of whatever your storage tank is so so you know that your city water connect cable hook up here convenient light aluminum wheels now they went from a Schwintec slide the Schwintec slide is your aluminum rail both bottom and top they went from a Schwintec slide to the cable slide all my trailers um, that I've owned to date have the cable slides. Very problem free, very lightweight slide. Um, kind of a good move as far as these trailers go. Again, great looking graphics, great looking front end. Batteries are set back here. And I'm in a nice little cozy area. Now at Rocky Mountain RV, we include dual batteries with our trailers. Let's take a look inside this Aerolite. As we step inside, you'll see that this unit has bow floor, which is a crack resistant flooring. This U-shaped dinette makes into a bed, which is nice for additional sleeping. Here's another look at those bunks. I'll try to move slow so my camera doesn't lose focus. Now this third mattress here, this is considered a triple bunk setup. You can raise this lower bunk to the midpoint and have that floor for your, your third bunk setup or leave it as a double bunk. 
and uh, just make it a one mattress more comfortable than the other. If you've got a favorite kid or something, you can have him have the comfortable mattress or put the cousins underneath the bed. Tons of storage. Hanging rack on the top. Now with this top bed, this is just kind of like the toy haulers here. You'll see this little pin. You can slide this top mattress up and pin it out of the way and only use that lower mattress if you want to. Cabinets click in place for travel. There are TV hookups in this little recessed area. Bathroom door, little tub in here makes it great for toddlers. I've got twin five-year-olds and I don't know what I would do without a tub in my trailer. I guess I do, I'd hose them off outside. Little louvers down here, these are your return air for your heater. Nice storage here, you've got a cabinet door here. Your full extend roller bearing glide drawers. Again, they snap into place so they don't come open during travel. Another door here. You can use this, of course, as a pantry. Bluetooth, stereo, DVD player, TV, the whole nine yards. Air conditioning is here. Just so you didn't think I thought the microwave is the air conditioner. King size bed. Now I'm six foot two. And my head is about six inches from touching the wall. I got plenty of room. There's another TV hookup on the back side here. So if you want a lot of noise going on, you could put three TVs in this little trailer. All right. Once again, my name is Barry Waddell. That was a look at the 242 Bunkhouse Aerolite. If you have any questions, please give me a call, 1-800-822-1114. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for taking the time to view this. Hope to talk to you soon.